Welcome to our presentation on emergency procedures. This video will provide you with an understanding of what to do in an emergency. The wardens will manage emergencies and evacuations and liaise with emergency services. If the wardens aren't available, their duties will default to the most senior staff member. In an emergency, always follow the warden's instructions. The best way to prepare for emergencies is by taking the time to read the emergency procedures and evacuation plans for your area. Be sure you know the route and location of all the available emergency assembly points, which are signposted. Emergency information, including a list of our trained first aid personnel and first aid equipment location, has been posted. Emergency exit routes and doorways are clearly labeled. There may be one or more exit doors in your area. Always choose the safest way. Ensure you see the warden if you have any questions or concerns. Be aware of the firefighting equipment in your area. The areas adjacent to the firefighting equipment must be kept free of obstructions at all times. All emergency exits and pathways must also be kept clear of obstacles at all times. Fire equipment will be tested by professional service providers and tagged appropriately. If you ever discover a fire or smoke, warn everyone in your vicinity. Activate fire alarms or call emergency services on 911 and alert the warden. If trained and within your ability, use fire fighting equipment to control the fire. Most importantly, maintain a clear escape route at all times. If it's safe to do so, confine the spread of smoke and fire by closing doors. If in a smoke-filled area, stay low. If you hear the alert tone, immediately cease your activity and listen for instructions. If instructed to evacuate the building, you must take the most direct, safest route to exit the building, avoiding any smoke, fire or danger. You are not permitted to collect your belongings before exiting. Once outside, you are not allowed to re-enter the building. Remain calm. Don't run or use the lifts. People requiring special assistance and those who cannot descend via the stairs should take refuge in the fire escape stairwell, ensuring not to block the way out. Fire wardens will notify emergency services of those employees who require special assistance to evacuate the building. Stay at the emergency assembly area unless otherwise instructed by the warden or emergency personnel or given the all clear. See the warden or your supervisor if you're ever in doubt or require further safety information.